What up my Jeep peeps, what up my Gladiator gang, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be installing the Rough Country Tri-Fold Hardtop Tonneau Cover on the 2021 Jeep Gladiator. So, what we have done is my father is here today, special guest star, went ahead and prepped everything for us, got everything out of the box, but ain't nobody asked him to, but okay. Ungrateful also, prick. <laughs> that's my father, Pete. So, what we have done is we've gone ahead and laid out all of our parts that we're going to need for this. As you can see, we've got everything laid out, the weather stripping, the nuts and bolts, the rails, the brackets, everything that we need. You're also going to need a 10 millimeter socket or wrench or a 7 16 socket and wrench to do this. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get started. And as always, you know, I leave the bloopers in. This, you know, we're not mechanically inclined, but we're gonna work on this. And um, let's get it started. Let's see how, what an easy install this will actually turn out to be. So the first step we need to do, is we need to take our weather stripping. Now we've already prepped this and we've already measured and cut it to the length of the uh, bed of the truck here. So we're gonna go ahead and lay that first and get that started. All right. So you do want to lay this uh, in the center and butt it up against the end of this cap rail on your bed of your truck. That looks good. <coughs> push this down. Okay. That's a little crooked, but I think it'll be okay. All right. All right. Let's move on to the next step. You know Rob, he's the instructions guy. You go along with him. Put that down. I think our next step is to do the brackets, if I'm not mistaken. And they're marked left and right. Yes, the brackets, like, thanks, Dad. These brackets are marked left and right. I don't know if you can see this, but there is an R. Please make sure you get those correct. I actually found out that we had to tap these holes here. Because of the Rhino spray-in, uh, we couldn't get the bolts threaded in and they were stripping. So we had actually had to go out and get a tap uh, for these. And that's what we're doing with these brackets right now. So we're gonna put those in. Okay. All right, guys. So Dad and I discovered after looking at our back brackets that we had them on incorrectly. And we also figured out that this, ha this notched out piece has to come out in order to put this back bracket on. So that took us a minute. And the instructions does do not tell you that. So um, there's a little heads up from, from us. Well, the instructions are so we're gonna feed these nuts in here. These installations are gonna be on laughing. <laughs> Saturday Night Live. <laughs> I know, right? Should be a skit. Yeah. How not to it. That should be how not to install a bed liner. Um, and again, we had to tap those out because those were full of paint. So again, if you don't have a spray and bed liner, you're not gonna have to worry about this like we did. So just need that a little bit. A handy dandy ratchet. Let's see if I got it going the right way. Do I have it going Try right? Try it. No, you're in neutral. Neutral. I don't know how to do this. I'm not mechanically inclined. You gotta be smarter than the tool. I gotta be smarter than the tool, Dad says. But apparently I'm not. So, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> right now it's too loose. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Put the nut driver on it. Yeah. It's too loose. It's gotta be tight oh. before this. We got our other filmmaker in here now. Okay. Ten minutes we'll have the neighborhood here. Spinning around it. <coughs> okay. I'm 
spinning in circles. Okay. <coughs> okay. So you leave that loose, right? Yeah, we didn't tighten it all the way. Yeah. All right, so remember guys, these studs fit down into this hole and then this bracket, if you can see, will go here. I guess we're doing something like that. Can you grab that back in, please? Okay. So, the threaded goes behind this. So, these line up there. See this, how these line up, guys? Then I'm gonna come back over here, and we're gonna put, oh, you know, I'm too fat to get under here. Um, the studs, we gotta find the studs. They didn't come through these little holes. Um, you lift it up, there we go. Okay. Close. I can see them. Nope, 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 nope. Is that uh, insulation fucking them up? It's got a bracket in the way. Here, here. Cap it back just a bit. Okay. Um, oh, it's not go back. There we go. Okay, so I got those on. So I need the nuts. Fingers. Okay. Next time somebody does this, it's a big one about 20 times. Yeah, thanks to me showing them all the shortcuts. Like I said, it must be kind of a universal thing. Guys, I'll be honest with you. This is a fucked up YouTube. I have a Charlie horse. I mean, I had to stop for a fucking Charlie horse, you guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I know this video is going to be choppy, but you know what? It's going to be edited. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm having technical difficulties. It's very hard to hold the camera and screw. Oh, and my camera stand broke, too. In, in the midst of my Charlie horse. And yeah. action. Oh. All right, guys, so I've got these bolts started for the front rail. Okay. Um, this should be the last step uh, before you can actually put the damn tonneau cover on. Want to get that going, um, hopefully. Um, these in Yeah, you know what? 
totally missed the holes, guys. Okay? Yep. Alright guys, I'm just putting the drainage tubes on. Which is probably the easiest, like Dad said, the easiest part of this install. That we haven't had any trouble. Put those on. Feed them through your little hole. I'm guessing that's all we do. Where that tube comes out, guys, no idea. Yeah, let me uh, lean on that thing because we're supposed to put weight on that so it's sealed. Okay. All right, I got it up. I got it screwed on. Okay. Get into the holes. All right, we'll go to the other one. Tubes. All right, I think we are ready now to put the tonneau covers on. Let's hope to God. Baby. All right, guys, so we got the tonneau cover. You put the buckle uh, side to the cab, and then you take your latches uh, with this bolt, and you're going to slide it in to this slide in right here, and then you can tighten it a little bit. I'm going to give a slide one to my dad. Okay, and then there's two more right there. Just slide that in. And make sure, guys, that this little, see this little divot at the end? Make sure that comes towards you. I believe that's going to hook on to, um, there we go. Just like that. Dad, you got yours? Okay. I kind of feel like this is, is it supposed to be sticking up like this? Huh? Right it shouldn't stick out right now. Not until you close it, then you gotta crawl under there. Okay. But that's the way it sits, right? Yeah. Okay. Dad, you need another one? Yeah. Alright, got that? Yep. Okay. Alright, so you do that on all of those. down like so what's next on our instructions yeah we got those in uh let's see okay so once the cover is located yeah throw this down okay see off well that's why they say don't tighten the bolts because you got to adjust this Okay guys, we're gonna tighten these latches. We got the latches on, we got the tonneau cover on. Make sure that it's all straight. Sorry for I'm out of breath. It's because I'm fat and I had to crawl under here. So go ahead and tighten these up. Make sure they're on there straight. Okay. Just set you up on this track. Let me see here. Make sure that's all. Sorry, guys, it's hard to film. Okay. Okay. Look at that on there. Sorry, guys. Make sure that's tight on the app track. This section of the tonneau cover does not open. All right, so we go to the other side. It's kind of hard to see you guys, but I'm going to make sure that's up there. Tighten it. It's on there tight. Okay. And again, sorry guys, let's make sure that's connected on there. Yeah, make sure your latches are straight too. Sorry guys, like, it's hard to 
view of the camera and tightening. Okay. So, all right, let me switch here. Okay. Good. Okay, guys, well, we are finally done with the tonneau cover install. And I have to be honest with you, I love it. Look how sleek, I mean, it's, it's not bulky, it's low profile. Again, this is the Rough Country Hardtop Aluminum Trifold Tonneau Cover. I'll put the link in the description down below. Super happy with it. And I'll be honest with you guys, it was literally for me a shit show to put this together because one, I don't know what I'm doing. And two, um, there were things that we needed to do that weren't on the instructions. So again, guys, if you have the spray in bed liner, remember, you're probably gonna have to tap your holes because uh, that's what we had to do. And that was a big problem. We had to run to the store, we had to get a tap, and we spent an extra $50 to get a tap to tap out all these holes. New screws, because the old screws were stripped, uh, but that's okay. A learning experience. I did it, we did it with my help with my dad, help with Rob. They really 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 appreciate that I'm happy with the product it looks amazing just make sure that you tighten everything down once you get this in place you know make sure it's lined up and centered make sure that that's when you go back and tighten everything down so just kind of show you uh, ease I've got the truck locked I mean you can't get into it how are you gonna get into it you can't you can't pull down the tailgate you know airplane aluminum you can't get into this um, and this is gonna come good for us when we go into uh, move to Costa Rica because you know, a lot of little thieves down there. Just unlock the truck to show you how easy this is. Here's your two cable releases. For the first one, you can just pull, the, pull one, lift it up. For the second, you can just pull both these cables, lift it up. Easy, easy guys, look at that. I mean, just, now the one thing that you will not probably like I don't care, it doesn't bother me. This last section does not fold up. It does not fold up to the to the window. That's okay, I'm not look, looking for that. But again, if we didn't run into all the issues that we had run into, this would have been a quick 30 minute install. Um, so I'm not saying don't do it. You know, I, it was just, we had some issues, but we got it resolved. And I could not be happier with the look. Once again, smooth, sleek, I mean, just get a picture from this end. I mean, look how good that looks. It's not bulky. It's amazing. I'm super happy, super thrilled with it. Super thrilled with it. So there you go once again, guys. All right, well, that's going to do it for us today. It's been a long day. I want to say thank you again to all my subscribers. Hey, check out the new Mojave Madness sticker from my buddy at City Stickers. You can find him on Facebook. Again, that's Mike at City Stickers, and that's spelled with an S-I-T-Y. Again, if you're new, go like, go subscribe to my channel. Once again, I want to thank all the new subscribers for checking out my Podunk channel. It really means a lot. Super appreciative of it. All right, guys. Well, other news. Got the winch delivered today. It's sitting on the porch. That will... We are going to have professionally installed. Are you kidding me? If I tried to install it, you know, the whole truck would blow up. So that's next uh, on the agenda. So until the next time, once again, please like and subscribe to my video down below. I'll have links again to the Rough Country Trifold Tonneau Cover. Um, I'll put a link to, uh, or I'll just let you know about Mike at City Stickers. If you need any decals, hook them up, hit them up on Facebook. Again, really appreciate it. Until the next video. Peace. <laughs> Look, I totally forgot what I was doing. <laughs>